I imagine for a Smith grad, the fact that you are, you know, now testifying before Congress and introducing the Attorney General, that seems like a natural step. But, guys, it's very hard to get into that college. Um, but the fact is, is that you're doing that because you both served time for being part of a drug cartel and um, had both the courage and willingness to, to take that on and make it a bigger issue in terms of how other people are dealing with prison. Did you expect that your life would take the turns it has? Oh no, I, I don't think I could possibly have expected this. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, I mean, no. it's quite surreal. <laughs> it's very I, surreal. I can't, only, I can't imagine how surreal it is for you, in fact. I, w I mean, I was incredibly grateful and honored to be asked to testify about solitary confinement and women uh, for the Senate and to talk at the White House about reentry and employment because I think it's really important. There's 700,000 people coming home from prison and jail every single year in this country. I will also say that when they were like, oh, and by the way, would you introduce the Attorney General? I was like, this is weird. This is really weird. Um, as an ex-con. As an ex-con, indeed. I was like, and now, a man who needs no introduction, <laughs> Eric Holder. <laughs> it's probably the most honest thing that's happened in politics in a long time, actually. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a Nikki, aka Nichols, tutorial for Orange is the New Black. She is by far one of my favorite characters. I think she's hilarious and kind of, you know, ridiculously raunchy and just kind of a badass. So I am doing this with a couple of other bloggers, so I hope you will check out their videos linked below and they will be in with my post and a link up. And yeah, if you aren't a huge Orange the New Black fan, shame on you and get on that and just keep watching. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is clip back my crazy hair. Um, Nikki has those awesome curl wave things. Um, she's got like a mess of hair, but it just, it looks really good. This is the Pro Beauty Tools, I don't know, I assume it's called a waver, it looks like this. So I'm going to use the Lancome Tint Miracle. Uh, lip from Within Makeup it says SPF 15 in it. You can see her freckles in the show, so you know she's not wearing a super heavy duty, but you also don't see redness or really like acne type problems or under, under eye circles. I think they try to show a little bit of, but not very often. So I'm just going to kind of dot this and blend it. This is an angled brush. So hopefully you'll still be able to see my freckles a bit. I'm not sure it's because she has redder toned hair or whatever, but they usually put her in peaches, so they think she can probably get away with those looking probably more natural, I guess. Um, this is Laura Mercier Cream Blush, and this is in Canyon. So just enough for a little bit of a glow. Not even a glow, but like a lit within kind of color. So I'm not going to do bronze or anything like that, I'm just going to kind of let that set on my skin. So this is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I am in W15, although I probably should be even lighter than that. Still not sure how much I love this, because I feel like I get way too much product, but it is what it is, right? I'm going to apply that to a couple of blemishes here on my chin. And I'm going to go ahead and use this underneath my eyes as well. So let's talk about her eyes. You can see she wears eyeshadow. At least this is the picture I'm going off of. I guess I should show you that. Um, I'm going after the look that she's wearing um, when they are doing a type of like fashion show type thing for work. But she kind of wears the same look every day. This is just the best look I could get up by her face. You can see she's got kind of peachy pink cheeks, but not terribly visible. Um, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids, and then while that's setting, I'm going to do my brows. So I'm using a pencil because she doesn't have super defined brows or anything like that. 
Um, this is my cosmetics. This is the Brow Power Universal pencil. This is my favorite pencil, at least at the moment. And I'm going to fill them in, but I'm not going to fill them in, like, a lot, I guess. So, in a lot of the promo shots, you can see they photoed, photoshopped out her freckles, which is a shame. I think her skin is beautiful, and it's always fun to see another freckle face out there in the world. But the rest of her makeup is neutral, so it's a bit more believable. Um, but still, one of my favorite things is that someone points out that she's wearing mascara, which just totally cracks me up. Because obviously, in jail, you're not supposed to be wearing mascara. Well, as far as I know, anyway. My primer should be about set up, and I'm going to take this Milani uh, liquid eye pencil, and this is in black, and I'm going to go ahead and go underneath my lash line, because it almost looks like they give her a brightener in her waterline, um, some of the time, at least, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can see it looks super harsh, right? This is what I don't do at home, kids. And she's got tons of lashes, so I'm actually going to go in my upper waterline as well. So with a nice small detailer brush like this, I'm just going to go ahead and smudge out that liner. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you're using a really, really blendable liner. Um, sometimes it looks like she's wearing a brown eyeliner smudged with black, and other times it looks like black with brown, so I'm doing black with brown. So right below my lash line, I am going to start digging into this palette. And I'm going to use Sable, but I'm only using a tiny bit on my brush. And that's just to kind of diffuse that black a bit. So next I'm going to take Taupe, which is right here, which is a light kind of chocolatey brown here. And I'm going to diffuse that line underneath there even more of that. So when you see her, she has these really, this dark under eye, like really dark. But if you look up close in the pictures, it looks like it's been nice and diffused out some. Just down shade to shade. So up on top, I'm just taking this neutral cream shade on my lid. It's pretty close to my own coloring. I'm not using tons of it either, just enough to kind of blend around so this line doesn't look that harsh necessarily. So one of the characteristics mainly of Nikki is really 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 chunky mascara. So I have this CoverGirl uh, Crumb Crusher and then I have this CoverGirl or Rimmel Scandalize. Um, this is an older tube so I'm hoping it'll clump up because I usually don't wear clumpy mascara as much. And then I'm using this to coat all my lashes because she's got tons of lashes and I do not. Sorry about that, my battery died. So now I'm going to take the Scandalize and try to make them a bit more clumpy. Alright, I think that's as clumpy as I'm going to get here. So the last thing I'm going to put on is this Maybelline Baby Lips. And this is in Peach Kiss. And I'm only going to put that in the center of my lip. Because I don't feel like she has a lot of color. And there you have it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Nikki tutorial. And I hope you guys watch Orange the New Black or else you guys aren't going to have an idea who I'm talking about. You know. But I hope you guys had fun. And I would love to see your Orange is the Black wow orange is the new black type looks and this is also going to be a link up which i will put down in the down bar i have some friends who have done people like flocka and piper and alex so go ahead and check those out because they are awesome 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 bloggers and vloggers so you can check out their looks and i'll talk to you guys next time bye Muy buenas a todos, bienvenidos un día más a mi canal, soy Serenion y hoy os vengo a hablar de Orange is the New Black, una serie de Netflix que sigue vigente con nuevas temporadas cada año y que la verdad está bastante bien. Hablamos de una serie que está ambientada en una cárcel de mujeres 
en la que entra la protagonista, Piper Chapman, después de un rollo de drogas y demás, eh, transcurrido 10 años atrás. Y la verdad, eh, el tema de la protagonista principal y todos sus derivados son una simple excusa para presentarnos la prisión y presentarnos las presas, eh, cómo se dividen en grupos por inercia, el tema del lesbianismo y todas estas historias. La verdad, es una serie que me gusta bastante. Realmente lo que menos me gusta de la serie es la propia protagonista principal que... En la primera temporada quizás tiene un poco más de presencia, pero a partir de la segunda temporada es que mmm, posiblemente sea incluso menos relevante que muchos de los personajes secundarios, entre los que destacan Resnikov, Arias Red en la serie, o B en la segunda temporada. La verdad, eh, son grandes personajes, eh, sobre todo el tema de los grupos, los grupos de latinas y los grupos de negras son impresionantes, eh, las inercias que tienen entre ellos, hay personajazos, hay actrices que... Es, Deberían llevarse Emmy por, por esta serie y no en la señora Emilia Clark de Juego de Tronos, la verdad. Y bueno, es una pena que esta serie no sea tan reconocida o tan mainstream como pueden ser otras series que para mí seguramente no igualan en calidad a esta, la verdad. Y bueno, mmm, muchos lo asociaréis también a la serie española Vis a Vis, la verdad no tiene absolutamente nada que ver. Sí, es una prisión de mujeres y demás, pero Vis a Vis es un absoluto y completo dramón, mientras que esta es una dramedia que una mezcla entre comedia con humor negro y un poquito de drama y bueno, la esencia de la serie es la siguiente estamos siempre enfocados en un personaje de cada capítulo, por ejemplo se puede enfocar en la protagonista, se ven flashbacks de su pasado y te van contando la historia de cada presa básicamente y claro, cuando te, te cuentan eso, la historia de las presas más o menos conocidas, la protagonista, Piper Chapman, la novia, Alex Baus o yo qué sé, alguna de las negras, pues dice, vale, está guay y demás. Pero ya cuando se van a personajes que a priori te parecen lo menos importantes posible, como puede ser eh, la señora con cáncer que hay en la segunda temporada o la china ya en la tercera temporada, la china mayor, la señora mayor, es que ya son momentos para aplaudir, la verdad. Sobre todo eso, el capítulo de la señora señora mayor china a mí me pareció pero sublime sublime absolutamente sublime no quiero entrar en muchos detalles porque se considera spoiler pero la verdad si no le habéis dado todavía una oportunidad a esta serie por favor dadáselo si tenéis netflix eh, vais a joderos un poco porque solo tendréis las dos primeras temporadas eh, en españa canal plus tiene un contrato de exclusividad y la tercera y la cuarta solo la están emitiendo a ellos gracias eh, por jodernos a los que nos suscribimos a netflix en su momento y no os preocupéis que de todos modos lo podéis conseguir por canales menos oficiales, así que tiraos, no, no le tengáis miedo y para adelante con ella. Y nada, eh, hasta aquí llegamos hoy, un abrazo, adiós, chao, chao, chao.